One, asking the way. Conversations. Listen. One. Excuse me. Can you tell me where South Street is, please? Take the second on the left, and then ask again. Is it far? No, it's only about five minutes walk. Many thanks. Not at all. Two. Excuse me, please. Could you tell me the way to the station? Turn round and turn left at the traffic lights. Will it take me long to get there? No, it's no distance at all. Thank you. That's okay. Three. Excuse me, but I'm trying to find the town hall. Take the third on the right and go straight on. Should I take a bus? No, you can walk it in under five minutes. Thank you very much indeed. That's quite all right. Four. Excuse me, please. Could you tell me how to get to the town centre? First right, second left. You can't miss it. Is it too far to walk? No, it's only a couple of hundred yards. Thanks very much. It's a pleasure. Two, on a bus. Conversations. Listen. One. Does this bus go to the station? No, you'll have to get off at the bank and take a one nine two. Can you tell me where to get off? It's the next stop but one. Two. Am I okay for St Mary's Church? No, we only go as far as the park, but you can walk from there. How much further is it? It's quite a way yet, but I'll tell you in good time. Three. Do you go to the seafront? No, you're going the wrong way. You want a one four three from the church. Have we got much further to go? It's the next stop. Four. Is this the right bus for the town hall? No, you should have caught at twelve. Jump out at the bridge and get one there. Could you tell me when we get there? It's three stops after this one. Three. Taking a taxi. Conversations. Listen. One. The American Embassy, please. I have to be there by eleven ten. I can't promise, but I'll do my best. You're just in time. Six pounds thirty, please. Thanks a lot. Here's seven pounds. You can keep the change. Two. Do you think you can get me to Victoria by half past? We should be okay if the lights are with us. You've still got five minutes to spare. Six pounds forty, please. Thanks very much indeed. Here's ten pounds. Give me three pounds, please. Three. Piccadilly, please. I have an appointment at ten thirty. I think we can make it if we get a move on. Here we are, sir. Six pounds thirty-five, please. Many thanks. Let's call it seven pounds. Four. 
Paddington, please. I want to catch the 11.15. We'll be all right if there are no hold-ups. This is it, sir. Six pounds fifty, please. Thank you. Here's the fare, and this is for you. Four. At a railway station. Conversation. Listen. One. When does the London train leave, please? 9.25, platform 3. What time does it reach London? You should be there at 11.31, but you may be a bit late. Do I have to change? Yes. You change at Lewis and East Croydon. 2. Which train do I take for Victoria, please? 9.28, this end of platform 2. When does it get in? It gets there at 11.34. Must I change? No. It's a through train. Three. Which platform for London Bridge, please? 9.27 from platform one. What time does it arrive? It takes roughly two hours, so you'll arrive just before 11.30. Is it necessary to change? No. There's no need to change. Four. What time's the next train to Victoria, please? 9.26, platform four. Right up at the front. When do we get there? It's due in at 11.35, but they're running late today. Need I change trains? Yes. Change at East Croydon. Five, the London Underground. Conversation. Listen. One. Which way do I go for Queensway, please? Take the Bakerloo to Paddington, the district to Notting Hill, and then get the Central. Where do I go now? Take the escalator on your right. Two. How do I get to Lancaster Gate, please? Catch the Metropolitan to Liverpool Street, and then change to the Central Line. Which platform do I want? Follow those signs. You can't go wrong. Three. Which line do I take for Marble Arch, please? Well, that's easy. It's the next station down the Central Line. How do I get down to the trains? Get that lift over there. Four. Can you tell me the best way to get to Bond Street, please? You want the Victoria to Oxford Circus, and then you change onto the Central. Which way do I go first? Go straight down the stairs and turn left at the bottom. Six. Booking airline tickets. Conversations. Listen. One. I want to fly to Geneva on or about the first. I'll just see what there is. I want to go economy and I'd prefer the morning. Lufthansa flight LH203 leaves at 0920. What time do I have to be there? The coach leaves for the airport at 07.45. 2. I'd like to book a flight to Munich for Monday the 10th. I'll have a look in the timetable for you. I'll need an economy class open return. KLM have got a DC-9 leaving at 09.25. What else ought I to know? The latest time of reporting is 08.20 at the airport. 3. What flights are there from London to Vienna tomorrow? If you'd like to take a seat, I'll find out for you. 
I'd like to travel first class, please. British Airways flight BA five six one takes off from Heathrow at o nine twenty five and flies direct. What time have I got to get there? You'll have to be at Victoria Coach Station by o seven forty five. Four. Are there any planes to Zurich on a Sunday? If you'll excuse me for a second, I'll check. By the way, I don't want a night flight. There's a Swiss Air DC nine out of London at o nine twenty. When am I supposed to check in? If you're going to the airport, you must be there before o eight twenty. Seven. Hiring a car. Conversations. Listen. One. How much is it to rent a large estate car? Twenty-four pounds a day, or one hundred and thirty-five pounds a week. Will I be able to have one next weekend? Have you got a current license? Yes, I've been driving since I was eighteen. Good. All you do now is complete this form. Two. What's the rate for one of your medium-sized vans? The daily rate is twenty-three pounds, and the weekly one hundred and twenty-eight pounds. Right then. I'd like to book one for next Friday, please. Is yours a full license? Yes, I've had one ever since nineteen seventy-eight. Okay. If you'll just fill up this form, I'll book you one. Three. Can you tell me the higher charge for minibuses, please? You can have one for twenty pounds a day or one hundred and thirty-eight pounds for a week. All right. I'll take one for the week starting Tuesday next. Is your driving license valid? Yes. There's no problem there. Fine. We'll need some particulars and a twenty-five pound deposit. Four. Suppose I wanted to hire a van. How much would it cost? Twenty-two pounds per day, one hundred and thirty pounds per week. Fair enough. Reserve me one from the first to the tenth, please. Have you held a license for over two years? Yes. Here it is. Right. In that case, there's only a form to fill in. Eight. At a garage. Conversations. Listen. One. Could you book me in for a full service, please? Certainly, madam. I just need to know the year and model. I can't remember the year, but it's a deregistration. I think I can fit you in first thing tomorrow morning. That'd suit me fine. And while you've got it, could you have a look at the brakes as well? Yes, we always check everything thoroughly. Two. I'd like to arrange to have my car serviced. Yes, of course. Which year and model is it? It's a 1986 model, the smallest one in the range. How would next Friday afternoon suit you? That'd be perfect. And could you also try to improve the starting? Yes, we'll do that as a matter of course. Three. Could you book my car in for a service? It's well overdue. That's no problem. Can you tell me the year and model? It's a five hundred series, and it's less than a year old. Can you bring it in on Thursday? That should be okay. And perhaps you could see to the clutch. It keeps slipping. Yes, I'll make a special note of it. Four. 
My car needs servicing. Can I get it done here? Yes, I think we can help you. Which year and model, please? It's last year's model. The estate version. How about next Wednesday morning? That's fine. And at the same time, could you do something about the sunroof? It lets the rain in. Yes, we'll do that for you. Nine. At lunch. Conversation. Listen. One. You must have some more chicken. No, thanks. I'm supposed to be slimming. Can't I tempt you? Well, maybe I could manage a very small piece. Two. Wouldn't you like to finish up the omelette? No, really, thank you. I just couldn't eat any more. Come on now, surely you can manage it. No, thank you, really. I must have put on pounds as it is. Three. Another piece of meat pie? No, thanks, really. I'm on a diet. Please do. You've hardly eaten anything. It's delicious, but I don't think I ought to. Four. Do have the rest of the mashed potato. No, thank you. I've had too much already. Just take it to please me. Okay, but only a small piece, or I shan't have room for any pudding. Ten. Tea time. Conversations. Listen. One. Would you care for a cup of tea? Only if you're having one. Do you take milk and sugar? A dash of milk and two lumps, please. Two. I expect you could do with a cup of tea, couldn't you? I'd rather have a cup of coffee, if you don't mind. Milk and sugar? A milky one without sugar, please. Three. How about a nice cup of tea before you go? Yes, I'd love one. How'd you like it? A strong one with three spoons for me, please. Four. Would you like a cup of tea? Only if it's not too much trouble. Do you like it with milk and sugar? Not too much milk and just half a spoonful, please. Eleven, with a friend in a coffee bar. Conversation. Listen. One. What would you like to drink? A black coffee for me, please. How about something to eat? Yes, I'd love a portion of that strawberry tart. Right. I'll see if I can catch the waitress's eye. Two. What can I get you to drink? An iced coke would go down well. Wouldn't you like some cake too? Yes, I think I'll have a slice of chocolate sponge. Right. Sit down there, and I'll bring it over. Three. What are you going to have to drink? I'd like something cool. Would you care for some cake? Yes, I'll try a piece of cheese cake. It certainly looks tempting. <laughs> I wouldn't mind some myself. Four. What do you want to drink? I feel like a cup of tea. Do you fancy something to eat? Yes, I'd rather like some of that fruit cake. That's a good idea. I think I'll join you. Twelve. In a restaurant. Conversations. Listen. One. Can I take your order, sir? Yes. I'd like to try the steak, please. And to follow, ice cream, please. Two. Have you decided on something, sir? Yes. Haddock and chips for me, please. How about the sweet? No sweet, thanks. Just coffee. Three. Have you chosen something, sir? Yes. I think I'll have the curry, please. What would you like afterwards? I'd like some fruit if you have it. 
Four. May I take your order, sir? I'll just take a small salad, please. Do you want any sweet? Apple pie and custard would be nice. Thirteen, in a pub. Conversations. Listen. One. What are you going to have? A half a bitter, please. Are you sure you won't have a scotch? Thanks very much, but I'm driving. Two. What's it to be? The same again, please. Won't you make it a pint this time? I'd better not. Thank you all the same. Three. What would you like to drink? Just a light ale for me, please. Won't you have a gin and tonic with me? That's very kind of you, but I don't think I will. Four. What can I get you? I'd like a lager, please. Wouldn't you care for something a little stronger? No, I think I'd better stick to halves. Thanks. Fourteen. Offering cigarettes. Conversations. Listen. One. Cigarette? No, thanks. Not before lunch. Please have one. It's a new brand. I honestly don't feel like one at the moment. Thanks. Two. Have a cigarette. No, thanks. I've just put one out. Please do. I always seem to be smoking yours. Perhaps I will then. Have you got a light? Three. Would you like a cigarette? No, thanks. I'm trying to cut down. Go on. I owe you one from yesterday. Okay, but next time you must have one of mine. Four. Help yourself to a cigarette. No thanks. I'm trying to give up. Come on, I insist. No, really, thank you. I I've got a bit of a cough. Fifteen. At a hotel. Conversations. Listen. One. I wonder whether you have any vacancies for tonight. Yes, I can offer you room twenty-four on the first floor. How much is it? Twenty-seven pounds fifty a night, excluding service. Can I see it, please? Certainly. Would you take a seat for a moment? Two. Have you a single room for two nights? Yes, but only on the top floor. What price is it? Thirty-four pounds with service and TV. Fair enough. Can you show me the room, please? Of course. Would you like to follow me? Three. Can I book a double room from now until Friday? You can have room thirty-three, overlooking the sea. What's the price? Twenty-eight pounds seventy-five, not counting the service. Can I have a look at it, please? Yes, of course. Come this way. Four. Have you got a twin bedded room for one night? I can let you have a room at the back. What does it cost? With a private bath, thirty-one pounds, service included. Can you show me something a little cheaper? Yes, of course. I won't keep you a moment. Sixteen. Finding a room. Conversations. Listen. One. 
I believe you take in foreign students. Yes, if you don't mind sharing. How much is it? Thirty-nine pounds per week, including heating. Do you think I could have a look at it, please? We're having it decorated at the moment. Will Friday do? Two. I've been told you might have a vacant room. Yes, I've got a spare single. What are your terms? Thirty-seven pounds for bed and breakfast. Could I have a look at the room, please? It's a bit awkward just now. Could you come tomorrow? Three. A friend told me I might find some accommodation here. Yes, I'll have a room free after the weekend. What's the price of the room? Thirty-six pounds a week, but I can't do lunches. Do you mind if I come in? Come in by all means, but it's in a terrible mess. Four. I wonder if you can help me. I'm looking for a room. I have got a vacancy. Yes. What sort of price are you asking? Forty pounds a week, excluding laundry. Would it be convenient to see the room? Can you call back later? We're right in the middle of lunch. Seventeen, making an appointment. Conversations. Listen. One. Will Doctor Black be able to see me at about nine fifteen tomorrow? Sorry, but he's fully booked till eleven, unless there's a cancellation. Would ten to one be convenient? Yes, he's free then. Two. I wonder whether the dentist could fit me in early tomorrow. I'm afraid there's nothing before midday. How about twelve forty-five? Sorry, but that's taken too. Three. I'd like to fix an appointment with the principal. Would nine tomorrow be all right? I'm afraid not. He's got rather a full day tomorrow. Could I make it quarter to one? Sorry again, but I'll ring you if somebody cancels. Four. Do you think the staff manager could see me tomorrow before nine thirty? He won't be in till ten forty-five, so the earliest would be eleven. Is twelve forty any good? Yes, I'll make a note of it. Eighteen. Finding a job. Conversation. Listen. One. Have you any vacancies for full-time staff? What did you have in mind? Something in the domestic line. Have you had any experience? No, I'm more or less straight from school. Well, I can't promise anything, but I'll do my best. Two. I was wondering whether you needed any part timers. What were you thinking of? A hotel job of some sort. Have you ever done anything similar? Not so far, no. There's nothing at present, but look back in a week. Three. I'm looking for a job where I can live in. What exactly did you want? I wouldn't mind working in a pub. Have you done anything like that before? Well, I once did a bit of waiting. Fill in this form, and I'll let you know if anything turns up. Four. Can you fix me up with a part-time job? Anything in particular that appeals to you? I was rather hoping to find something in a school. Have you done that kind of thing before? Yes, I was doing the same job last summer. I might be able to help you, but I need references. Nineteen at a bank. Conversation. Listen. One. I'd like to change these marks, please. How do you want it? It's all the same to me. Did you want anything else? Yes. I'd like to open a deposit account. Two. Could you cash this traveller's cheque, please? How would you like it? Five pound notes, please. Anything else? 
Yes, I'm expecting some money from Paris. Is it in yet? Three. A new checkbook and these dollars into sterling, please. How did you want it? Pounds, please. Do you want anything else? Yes. I'd like to know the rate for Swiss francs. Four. Do you think you could change this note for me, please? How shall I give it to you? Notes and large silver, please. Was there anything else? Yes. Could you tell me my balance? Twenty. At a barber's shop. Conversations. Listen. One. How do you want it, sir? Just a trim, please. Would you like it washed? No, thank you. Just leave it as it is. Two. How would you like it, sir? Not too much off, please. How about a shampoo? Not this time, thanks. Three. How shall I cut it, sir? Very short all over, please. Shall I put some oil on? No, I don't think so, thanks. Four. How shall I do it, sir? Just tidy it up a bit, please. Do you want some spray? No, nothing at all. Thank you very much. Twenty-one. Shopping. Conversations. Listen. One. Are you being served? No. What have you got in the way of brown suede jackets, size forty-two? Sorry, but we're sold right out. Are you likely to be getting any more in? I should think so. Yes. If you leave your phone number, I'll ring you. Two. Is anybody looking after you? No. I'm after a size forty V-neck pullover in grey. The best I can do is a thirty-six. Could you order me one? I should imagine so. Yes. If you leave your address, I'll contact you. Three. Are you being attended to? No. I'm trying to find a navy blue raincoat, size forty-two. I can do the size, but not the colour. Do you think you could get one for me? Yes, of course. Look in again Monday week. Four. Are you being seen to? No. I'm looking for a pinstriped suit with a thirty-four waist. I'm afraid I can't help you at the moment. Will you be having any more in?、Mm, I doubt it, but you might be lucky at our High Street branch. Twenty-two, at a theatre. Conversation. Listen. One. I'd like to book two seats for tomorrow. Would you like something in the front stalls? I suppose there's nothing further back, is there? Not unless you come to the matinee. Two. Can I still get tickets for tonight's show? The front row of the dress circle is fairly free. Are there any boxes? No, I'm afraid that's all there is. Three. Are there any seats left for Saturday night? A eleven and B fourteen are all that's left. Haven't you got anything cheaper? Only if somebody cancels. Four. Is it still possible to get tickets for tonight? You can sit wherever you like in the first row. Isn't there anything a little less dear? No, I'm afraid you've left it rather late. Twenty-three. Police registration. Conversations. Listen. One. I've come along to register with you. Has your passport been up to the Home Office? Yes, they granted me three months. I'd like your address in this country, please.
too. I was told to report to the aliens officer. Has your permission to stay been extended? Yes, I'm all right until July. I shall have to see your work permit as well, please. Three. I've come to see you about my registration. Has the school sent your passport up to London? Yes, I've got until the end of the year. Then I'll need two photographs and the registration fee, please. Four. I understand I'm supposed to register. Has your employer arranged for an extension? Yes, I've been given three months. Can I see your registration book, please? Twenty-four. Asking for change. Conversations. Listen. One. Excuse me, but could I trouble you for some change? Let me see. Do you want coppers or silver? I want some change for the parking meter. You'd better have silver then. Two. Sorry to trouble you, but have you changed for a pound? I'll have a look. What do you want it for? I have to get a book of stamps. In that case, you need silver. Three. Excuse me. I wonder whether you could change a pound. Let's see. Coppers or silver? It's for a phone call. Will tens do? Four. Excuse me, could you oblige me with some change? I'll see what I've got. What's it for? I need some cigarettes from this machine. I can let you have some tens if that's any good. Twenty-five. Telephoning. One. Conversation. Listen. One. Number, please. I'd like to make an ADC personal call to o one four eight six two four three five, please. What is the name of the person you wish to speak to? Miss Susan Green, G R. Double E N E. What is your number, please? Brighton, double one, eight six five. Two. Number, please. Eastbourne, seven four six double five. Personal, with A D C, please. Who do you want to speak to? Extension two one four. What number are you calling from? Aberdeen, six o five. Three. Number, please. Could you get me Luton one two five o seven? Make it personal, please. The name of the person you are calling, please. The export manager. Where are you calling from? Belfast. Seven four five two zero four. Number, please. Can I have a personal call to Bedford six four five nine three two, please? Who are you calling? I'm not sure of the name, but it's room two double one. Your exchange room number, please. Swansea, double six nine three two. Twenty six. Telephoning, two. Conversation. Listen. One. Eastbourne five four six double five. Hello, John here. Can I speak to Mary, please? Hold the line, please. Okay. Sorry, but she's out. 
Would you tell her I rang? I'd be glad to. Two. Four eight six double four five nine. Hello, David Black speaking. May I have a word with June? I'll just see if she's in. Right, you are. I'm afraid she's not here. Could you take a message? Yes, of course. Three. Blackpool one five zero one four. Hello, this is James here. Is Alice there, please? Hang on a moment. All right. I think she's gone shopping. Would you ask her to call back? Certainly. Four. Nine double two six five three zero. Hello, my name's Frank Duncan. Could I talk to Linda, please? I'll find out if she's at home. Right. Sorry, but she won't be back till Monday. Can you tell her to ring me when she gets back? With pleasure. Twenty-seven. In a post office. Conversations. Listen. One. What's the postage on these letters to Thailand, please? I'll have to check. Do you need anything else? Yes, a fifty-piece stamp, please. That'll be seven pounds ninety-five in all. Two. Could you tell me how much this parcel to France is? I think I'd better look that up. Was there anything else? Yes, a postal order for one pound twenty-five, and an air letter form. Seven pounds eighty-five, please. Three. How much is this registered letter to Germany, please? I'll just make sure. Anything else? Yes, half a dozen airmail labels and a book of stamps. Eight pounds fifty exactly, please. Four. What's the surcharge and postage on this express letter, please? I'll have a look. Did you want anything else? Yes. While I'm about it, I'll have a large registered envelope. That comes to eight pounds twenty-five. Twenty-eight. Asking about health. Conversations. Listen. One. How's your father keeping? He's been off work for a day or two. What's wrong with him? He's gone down with a cold. Tell him I hope he soon feels better. That's very kind of you. I'll pass it on. Two. Where's Tony this evening? He's not feeling very well. Really? What's the trouble? I think he must have eaten something. Give him my regards and tell him to take things easy. Thank you very much. I'll tell him what you said. Three. How's your brother these days? He hasn't been too well just recently. I'm sorry to hear that. What's the matter? I think he's been overworking. I hope he soon gets over it. Thank you. He'll be pleased to hear you asked after him. Four. I haven't seen Bob lately. How is he? As a matter of fact, he's laid up. Oh dear! What's up with him? We don't know, but we're having the doctor in tomorrow. Let me know if there's anything I can do. Thanks very much. I'll tell him you inquired about him. Twenty-nine. At a doctor's surgery. Conversation. Listen, one. I've got a sore throat and my chest hurts. How long have you been like this? Two or three days now. I should think you've got flu. There's a lot of it about. 
What do you advise? Take this prescription to the chemists and then go straight to bed. Two. I feel shivery and I've got a pain in my stomach. How long have you had it? The best part of a week. By the sound of it, you've caught a chill. What should I do? I'll give you something for it and come to see you in a couple of days. Three. I keep feeling dizzy, and I've got a headache. How long has this been going on? It came on yesterday. I should say you're generally run down. What ought I to do? It's nothing serious. But you'd better stay in bed for a day or two. Four. I'm running a temperature, and I feel sick. Since when have you been feeling like this? It all started the day before yesterday. You seem to have picked up some sort of infection. What do you think I should do? Stay away from work till Monday and don't overdo things. 30. At a chemist's shop. Conversations. Listen. 1. The doctor's given me this prescription. It'll only take five minutes, so perhaps you'll wait. Have you also got something suitable for sore lips? Rub in this cream every four hours. Two. Could you make up this prescription for me, please? I'll do it for you straight away. By the way, what do you suggest for sunburn? This ointment should clear up the trouble. Three. I've just been given this prescription by Dr. Worrell. You can call back for it in about an hour. Can you also give me something for this rash? Try this tube of jelly. Four. Can I leave this prescription with you? I'll have it ready for you by 5.30. I'd like something for a sty, too. Put this lotion on three times a day. 31. Meeting people after a long time. Conversations. Listen. 1. We haven't seen you for ages. Have you been ill? No. I've been up north for a month. Where was that? Glasgow. I got back the day before yesterday. 2. How nice to see you again. Where have you been? Home? No. I've been visiting relations. Whereabouts? I went to Stirling to see an uncle of mine. Three. Come in and sit down. We haven't seen much of you lately. No, I've been away on holiday. Where exactly? Edinburgh. I've got a cousin there. Four. You're quite a stranger. Have you moved or something? No. I've had a few weeks in Scotland. Where did you go? Aberdeen. I stayed with my brother. 32. Introductions and opening conversation gambits. Conversation. Listen. 1. Wendy, I'd like you to meet my brother Sam. How do you do? How do you do? What do you think of life in England? I'm still feeling pretty homesick. It's bound to be strange at first. 2. Mrs. Hughes, this is Peter Brown. How do you do? How do you do? How do you find things over here? If it wasn't for the climate, I'd like it very much. It won't take you long to settle down. 3. Mother, this is Joe's brother, David. How do you do? How do you do? How do you like London? It's quite different from what I expected. Don't worry. You'll soon get used to it. Four. Mrs. Stacy, I'd like to introduce my Greek friend, Milos. How do you do? How do you do? What are your first impressions of England? 
Of course, it's much colder here than it is at home. Never mind. You'll be all right in a week or two. 33. Christmas, New Year, and Easter greetings. Conversations. Listen. 1. Happy Christmas. Thanks very much. Same to you. Are you doing anything special? We're having some friends round. What are you doing? I dare say I'll just take things easy. 2. Happy Easter. Thanks. And you too. Are you doing anything? I've been invited over to Pat's. And you? My roommate's giving a party. 3. Happy New Year. Thank you very much. You too. Are you going anywhere? I thought about going to my sister's. How about you? I'll probably just stay at home. 4. Have a good weekend. Thanks. The same to you. Have you got anything planned? I can't afford to do much. What about you? I expect I'll stay with my family. 34. Saying goodbye. Conversations. Listen. 1. I've come to say goodbye. When are you off? I'm flying home on Sunday. Goodbye, then, and all the very best. Cheerio. Say goodbye to the rest of the family for me, won't you? Two. I'd like to say goodbye to you all. What time are you going? My train leaves at 7.25. Well, goodbye, and have a good journey. Goodbye. Remember to look me up if ever you're in Rome. Three. I'm ringing to say goodbye. When are you setting off? I'm catching the 11.35 boat. Cheerio, then. And don't forget to keep in touch. Goodbye, and thanks for everything. Four. I've just called in to say goodbye. What time are you leaving? I'm going to try to get away by ten. Goodbye, then. And remember me to your parents. Goodbye. See you next year. 35. Television. Conversations. Listen. 1. Is there anything worth watching on the other channel? I think it's a western. Do you mind if we switch over? Well, I rather wanted to see the football match. 2. Do you happen to know what's on after the news? I've got a feeling it's a documentary. Does anybody mind if I watch it? But don't you want to see part two of the serial? Three. Do you remember what comes on next? I believe there's a variety show on. We mustn't miss that. Let me look in the Radio Times first. Four. What's on BBC Two at eight o'clock? As far as I can remember, there's a quiz program. Would you mind if I watched it? No, I've been looking forward to it all evening. 36. Thanks for hospitality. Conversation. Listen. 1. It's time we were off. So soon? Can't you stay a little longer? I wish I could, but I'm late already. What a shame. Thank you for a wonderful meal. I'm glad you enjoyed it. 2. I really must be going now. But you've only just come. Wouldn't you like to stay for a snack? That's very kind of you, but I mustn't be too late. What a pity. Thanks very much for the party. It was a pleasure to have you. 3. I think it's about time we made a move. What, already? Won't you have another coffee? I'd love to, but I have to be up early tomorrow. Oh, dear. What a shame. Thank you for a most enjoyable evening. Not at all. Hope you can come again. 4. If you'll excuse me, I really should be off now. Not yet, surely. 
Have another drink, at least. No, thank you all the same. Oh dear, what a pity. Thank you very much indeed for the delicious meal. Thank you for coming. 37. Asking people to repeat and offering lifts in a car. Conversations. Listen. 1. Sorry, but I didn't quite catch that. I said, can I give you a lift? Isn't it out of your way? No, it's on my way home. Two. I beg your pardon? I said, shan't I drive you home? Won't it be putting you out? No, I can go that way round just as easily. Three. I'm afraid I didn't quite hear what you said. I said, there's no rush. I can take you in the car. Won't it make you late? No, I'm going right past your place. Four. Sorry, but I missed that. I said, I'll run you back in the car. Are you sure it's not too much trouble? No, it won't take a minute to drop you off. Forty-one. What shall we do this evening? One. Conversation. Listen. One. How would you like to come bowling? I'm not over keen, actually. What about a Chinese meal, then? No, I thought I'd have an evening at home for a change. Two. Do you fancy a game of tennis? It's nice of you to ask, but I don't think so. Well, how about coming to see Tony? No, I honestly can't afford the time. Three. Feel like a stroll in the park? I don't think I will, thanks all the same. Oh, come on. A spot of exercise would do us good. No, if you don't mind, I think I'll stay in tonight. Four. Let's go ice skating. No, I'm really not in the mood for it this evening. Then why don't we just go out for a coffee? No, really. I've promised myself an early night. 42. What shall we do this evening? 2. Conversation. Listen. 1. How about coming out for a drink with me this evening? I'd like that very much, thank you. Shall we say round about eight? Fine, see you then. Two. Why don't we go for a drive in the country? That would be very nice, thank you. I'll pick you up about 7.30. Right, see you later. Three. Do you feel like going to the cinema? That sounds like a good idea, thank you. Let's make it 6.30 at your place. That'll be okay by me. Four. Would you like to come to a party with me tonight? I'd love to. Thank you very much. I'll call round for you after supper. Okay, I'll be ready. Forty-three. Complimenting people on clothes. Conversations. Listen. One. What a nice cardigan. Does it look all right? Yes, and it matches your scarf perfectly. I got it for £28.50 in a sale. It's incredible. Two. I say, I like your new raincoat. Is it a good fit? Yes. It looks fabulous. It only cost me £29. Wow, that was very good value. 3. You're looking very smart in that new jacket. Does it suit me? Yes, 
and I like the colour too. You know, I only paid twenty-seven pounds seventy-five for it. You got a bargain there. Four. That's a very nice blazer you're wearing. Do you really like it? Yes, and it goes well with your new pullover too. You'll never believe it, but it only cost twenty-nine pounds fifty. Very reasonable indeed. Forty-four. The weather. Conversations. Listen. One. Fairly mild for the time of year. Yes, quite different from the forecast. May say we're in for snow. Let's hope it keeps fine for the weekend. Two. It seems to be clearing up. It makes a change, doesn't it? Apparently, it's going to turn colder. Still, another month should see us through the worst of it. Three. Nice and bright this morning. Yes, much better than yesterday. The wind will probably get up later, as long as it doesn't rain. Four. It's good to see the sun again. A big improvement on what we've been having. It's supposed to cloud over this afternoon. I didn't think it would last. Thirty-eight, asking favors, conversations. Listen, one. Is there any chance of borrowing your typewriter? How long for? Until the end of the week. Yes, I think that would be all right. Two. Would you mind if I had some time off? When exactly? Monday and Tuesday of next week. I'd like to say yes, but it's just not possible. Three. Do you think I could possibly have my meals a little earlier? That would depend on when. Just over Easter. I'll have to check with my wife first. Four. I wonder whether you could put my friend up for a few days. Tell me when. Next weekend, actually. Let me think it over, and I'll tell you later. Thirty-nine, complaining. Conversations. Listen. One. I wish you wouldn't have your TV so loud. Sorry. Were you trying to sleep? Yes. And while I think of it, please ask when you borrow the iron. I really ought to have known better. Sorry. Two. Do you think you could keep the noise down a bit? Sorry, have I been keeping you awake? Yes, and another thing, would you mind not using my toothpaste? I'm sorry. I thought you didn't mind. Three. That radio is terribly loud. Could you turn it down a fraction? Sorry, is it disturbing you? Yes, and something else.、Uh, wouldn't it be an idea to buy your own soap? Sorry, I didn't realize you felt so strongly about it. Four. Do you have to have that record on quite so loud? Sorry, is it bothering you? Yes, and while I'm about it, please don't use the phone without asking. So sorry, I meant to ask you, but you were out. Forty, apologizing. Conversations. Listen. One. I'm afraid I've spilled ink all over the tablecloth. Oh, never mind about that. I'm terribly sorry. Won't you let me pay for it? No, I won't hear of it. Two. I'm awfully sorry. 
but I seem to have mislaid your scarf. Oh, don't worry about that. I just don't know what to say. I'll replace it, of course. No, that's quite out of the question. Three. I'm very much afraid I've burned a hole in the rug. Oh, that's all right. I do apologize. I'll buy you a new one first thing on Monday. Of course not. I never did like it anyway. Four. I'm dreadfully sorry, but I've broken a plate. Oh, that doesn't matter. I'm ever so sorry. Tell me where you bought it, so I can get you another. No, certainly not. I wouldn't dream of letting you do that.